At the end of January 2021, Tesla announced the first major refresh of the Model S and X in over 10 years. Even though the announcement included range and performance upgrades and minor exterior styling changes, the major focus from mainstream media and bloggers alike was on two notable changes. One, the Tesla yoke steering, and two, the absence of normal gear select shifters. It's probably no accident that the refresh Model S and X steering wheel are more closely modeled to a Formula One racing wheel. Formula One cars are the fastest regulated road course racing cars in the world, and unlike NASCAR, where telemetry is banned, F1 cars are high tech with laptops and carbon fiber, even down to the controls. All F1 controls are on the wheel, where NASCAR housed most controls on the dash and almost none on the steering wheel. In a similar fashion, the refreshed Model X and S has almost all controls directly on the steering wheel. They are not even steering wheel stocks. Without stock shifters or manual gear selectors, how does one shift into reverse? In F1 cars, you have to hold down a button for reverse. Teslas will use AI to automatically select driving direction. Note, you can manually override that if you desire. Let's hear about the latest F1 racing steering wheel. The drivers are involved right from the very first stages of the design of the steering wheel for a new car or for a new season. And that involves everything from the physical shape of the wheel, the layout of the buttons, and also the interaction with all the complex systems on board. Their input is critical to what we do, and of course they're the ones who will be using it day in and day out. The wheel is designed around switches that are quite robust, used in aircraft as well, robust against accidental actions under vibration. You imagine, of course, the driver using that wheel in a high vibration environment wearing gloves. Designed again around first order retrievability, the idea that the driver can get to anything he needs while keeping his hands on the wheel and reaching with his thumbs. So, what does all of this have to do with the day-to-day -day driving of a Tesla? Well. The refreshed Teslas are not just everyday cars. The new versions are capable of 0 to 60 acceleration of around 2 seconds and a top speed of around 200 miles per hour. By comparison, F1 Racing average acceleration is around 2.6 seconds and a top speed of around 223 miles per hour. The majority of serious accidents don't happen at low speeds, but at high speeds where control makes the difference between life and death. There is a reason why the fastest, most technologically advanced racing cars in the world have steering wheels designed like a yoke. However, it is true, the majority of minor accidents happen at low speeds where conventional steering and handling is very important, like within the parking lot. So how exactly will Tesla handle at low speeds? With tight turns like U-turns, what will likely be the steering ratio? Will it be one to one? Will it be awkward to use? Or will it be easy to get familiar with, such as the Model 3 and Y screens. Let's have an actual look at it in action. Uh, we can cater the ride and handling to whatever you want. Oh, wow. You can kind of hear the compressor going, it's because right. we're adjusting the air suspension on the fly. We only get better when we go to production. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, like just went over that bump and you don't even feel it. Here you can see it looks like an awkward hand placement. Awesome. Right, thank you so, so much. much. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. In the next clips, the next guy looks like he has a lot better control. Less awkward, more smooth. It's going to be a ride where we're going to also be showing performance. So, um, and then, so performance is not the only thing um, uh, that this truck is really well at. It has like really good handling too. Um, I don't know if you mentioned, I know it's a bit Elon mentioned, um, every um, Cybertruck will come with an air suspension standard and will essentially be able to put um, this offer. So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this ride. Um, and uh, I'm
pay close attention and you may be able to approximate the steering ratio. Straight to lock is only one turn, so an extremely quick two turn lock to lock. How do you like the steering wheel? It looks so cool. So again, pretty exciting to see. Both the Cybertruck and the Refresh Roadster have the new yoke steering with a very quick lock to lock. Now let's talk about Tesla doing away with a physical gear shift lever in favor of an AI controlled one. Sudden unintended acceleration. The NHTSA estimates 16,000 accidents per year in the USA from drivers intending to apply brakes but mistakenly applying the accelerator. Also drivers having the vehicle in the wrong gear. This has happened to all of us at least once in our lifetime. You may be sitting in reverse and forgot to put your car back in drive. It's not something most of us think about. However. This is significantly more likely to happen to the older population versus younger. But here's the thing, the majority of the population, baby boomers, are getting older. Inevitably, the rate of these types of accidents will become significantly higher, contributing to millions in costs to the insurance companies. Tesla thinks ahead. Tesla is positioning itself way ahead of the pack by not only offering unintended acceleration mitigation, but also predictive automatic gear selection. Not only will Tesla virtually eliminate these types of accidents, but also significantly reduce insurance industry claims. Tesla is already one of the safest cars on the road. However, this move may not only be a selfless act, as this will directly benefit the Tesla insurance business, can save them millions in the future, giving them yet another advantage. The advantage may be so significant that other auto manufacturers follow suit and replace gear select levers or at least supplement them. Hope you guys enjoyed, thank you for watching, hit the like button, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Cheers!